of the day um, have also been telling us. We, we're joined by Ron Bonjean, who is a Republican strategist. He's joining me on the phone. Um, Ron, this is very confusing. I've got two Rons who are both Republican strategists. I think that's sort of borderline unfair. I'm trying to keep, keep you both in my head. But anyway, Ron, it's lovely to speak to you. I haven't spoken to you for a while. Uh, do you, I, we were talking there about the campaign. And look, let's be clear. The doctors are still saying the president is not out of the woods. Ron Christie's had COVID, knows this. You can get better and then you can get worse again. So, But it does seem that the president is doing well. We were watching him walk out of Walter Reed there. He looked in good shape. He was waving. Uh, he was walking totally solidly by himself. So the doctors seem to say he is doing, uh, you know, super, that he's doing as well as anybody uh, can expect. Do you think... Uh, just as Marine One lifts off and flies from Bethesda to, to the White House, do you think this makes um, a noticeable difference, a material difference in terms of the election campaign, Ron? Ron Bonjean. Well, I certainly do think that it's important for Trump to be walking onto Marine One instead of being uh, medevaced or not being able to walk at all. Um, I have thought that his doing the videos on a daily basis um, while he's been in the hospital has been helpful. Um, this absolutely affects the campaign in terms of the structure that he wanted to go out and do rallies across battleground states. <clears throat> you know, he had a, he had a schedule to go to Wisconsin and other states as well. Um, and this also could affect the debate. We're not quite sure, you know, where that's going, where that's going to happen or not either. Um, at the core of it though, Trump, the, the, <clears throat> the voters on either side of the aisle Trump voters are, are largely unmoved. Biden voters aren't moving at all. I mean, what we're seeing is very little movement in the polling. And where we were at in 2016 is where we're at now. We have a, we have a very big discrepancy in national polling with Biden leading by 14 points, according to NBC and Wall Street Journal in the latest poll. Battleground states are, are a lot narrower than that. And so now we have now we're in October. Last October 2016, we had the we had the Access Hollywood bus video. Now we have COVID-19. There is 29 mm -hmm. days left until the election, and I, you know, even if the president's cleared by Monday, I just think we're going to go still go on another roller coaster on an unpredictable and unforeseen event. Here we are watching the helicopter of Marine One with the president on board, flying over the wooded suburbs of northern Washington D.C. Uh, from Walter Reed Hospital, taking him back to the White House. And I'm taken back to four days ago when the president boarded uh, Marine One to fly to Walter Reed. And, of course, at that point, um, we really didn't know what the president's prognosis was. We understood that uh, he, we were being told at the time that he was suffering mild conditions, that he was fatigued, that he had a slight fever. It's since emerged that his condition on Friday was more worrying than that, that he did actually have to have oxygen. Um, and there had been, you know, some misinformation, perhaps, about how serious the president's condition was. But I think if we had all known back on Friday that the president would be flying back to the White House on Monday, then everybody around the president would have breathed a sigh of relief because we know with this illness it is not clear where it's going to go. You can get the illness and you can get worse very quickly. You can get the illness, you can have it for a few days and then get worse or you can get the illness and have mild symptoms and recover. And on Friday, of course, as the president was being lifted, airlifted to uh, Walter Reed Hospital, it was a very worrying moment for this country. To have the president taken to a medical facility is a serious moment for the country. To have the president have the coronavirus is a serious moment for this country. We're talking about the politics of it, but this is also an issue of national security for the country. It's an issue of governance for the country. Uh, and it's an issue, of course, for the president's family and for his um, friends and family as well, that he has been infected with the coronavirus. Ron, now that the pres Ron Bonjean, now that the president goes back to the White House, he goes back to a different White House. Since he left on Friday, three more White House staffers that we know of have tested positive for the coronavirus. Do you think this is going to change uh, the mood of the White House, the attitude of the White House when it comes to the CDC guidelines on what one should do to try and prevent the spread of the coronavirus? Yes, I absolutely. I, I do think I do. I, I have heard from uh, members of Congress that have visited the White House that there are strong protocols 
within the White House in terms of access to visitors. However, for those staff that are working within the confines of the West Wing, I would imagine they would absolutely be practicing social distancing. Masks have to be mandatory. You know, a coronavirus is not a Democratic or Republican virus. This is a this is a this is a virus that can kill people or seriously, you know, mm. uh, put you in the hospital for quite some time. Yes, I do think that they're going to take this very very seriously. From my understanding, he'll be in the residence, um, and that they're trying to. Um, they're trying to re- create more of an office space for him upstairs so that he'll be confined uh, to his quarters there. I think what the president was trying to do today by leaving a Marine One and walking to the helicopter is to show strength, you know, uh, at a time where people are thinking about voting in November, you know, and millions of people have already well, I'm cast I'm just going to interrupt ballot. a second because that is the shot yeah. of the, the Marine One now flying over the Pentagon. The building that you see underneath Marine One, that's the Pentagon, uh, which was, of course, attacked on 9-11. It's just the other side of the river, of the Potomac River, from the White House. So the president is now getting nearer to the White House. It's a really remarkable shot that we're getting. I I don't think I've ever seen a shot with this beautiful evening light and Marine One flying right. It's about to fly past National Airport, Reagan National Airport. There you go. There's the airport coming up. Uh, And then it will cross the Potomac River over the mall, past the Washington Monument, up. Just, I should, I was jinxing it. I shouldn't have mentioned it. Anyway, there, there is the White House, live White House shot, and it will land, we understand, on the South Lawn um, of the... It keeps coming and going. Uh, Ron, as the, the president, we understand, will be isolating still in the White House, are you getting any news on Ron Bonjean whether isolation means strict isolation for the president? One would hope so. Uh, I, but, you know, we have, we have heard reports about... Chief of Staff Mark Meadows meeting with him and, you know, wearing protection. But I would think that there would be restricted to how, who is going to be in that residence and who isn't. I can see a staff or two going in there with PPE equipment on. Um, I can also see the president being very comfortable up there, tweeting away and watching television as well. What's very dangerous now is while he showcased strength, by getting in the helicopter and flying back to the White House, coronavirus makes, you know, anything can happen. And if he were to experience additional symptoms and problems and had to be taken back to the hospital, that would be quite something. That would be a very dangerous moment for our country, I think. Yeah. And uh, and doctors have been warning that it's not until really another few days that he's out of the woods. That's the wi- that's the Marine One, by the way, landing on the south lawn of the White House. It really is a shot out of a movie that we've been seeing with the monuments behind it. Uh, every time I say what a beautiful shot it is, the, the shot cuts out, so I've been wary not to... I haven't wanted to jinx it. But now we have Marine One uh, landing uh, on the south lawn of the White House, and as both Rons have been staying, everybody at the White House will be very happy to see the president back again. And the fact that the president is walking by himself. It was important that he walked out of the White House. I did think that on Friday, that that 100-yard walk that he did from the door of the south uh, entrance of the White House to the helicopter was probably one of the most important walks he did uh, in his presidency. It was extremely important for the markets. It was extremely important for the country. It was extremely important for national security and for his campaign, that he was seen to walk by himself on Friday uh, to the helicopter. And he will now walk back into the White House and he will stay in the residence, which is up there on the top floor uh, or above what's called the Truman Balcony. Um, And that's where he will stay by himself uh, for the next week or so, as far as we understand. Ron Christie, we've heard repeatedly from people in the White House and we heard it from... Press Secretary Kayleigh McEnany just yesterday that the reason that people in the White House have not been wearing masks and have not been, for example, addressing the press in masks is because they are constantly tested. But I think one thing that this has shown us is that that testing regimen is not fail-proof, right? The, the virus can get through the tests that people have been having. Well, Caddy, I'm living proof of that, right? You can wash your hands several times a day. You can wear a mask all the time, every time you're outdoors. You can take all the precautions that the CDC have told us, follow the science, and you can still contract the virus as I did. The notion that you 